Hey, neighbor. Today's been a great day. I mean, I got my haircut. I look all fly. I'm watching the Baltimore Ravens beat the Philadelphia Eagles. My boy Trace McSorley's put up three touchdowns in the first half. He ran for one and threw for two more. Uh, just threw a beautiful touch pass into the uh, side of the end zone right before the end of the half. He looks great, and I am really happy because... Uh, I really want him to make a, an NFL squad, and he's going to have a great chance to do it since um, he's going to be backing up another running quarterback, and Robert Griffin III is injured. So he might actually make the team, and that's really exciting. I totally don't remember what your question of the day is. I'll, I'll go do that, um, and then I'll, I'll be right back. So I just rewatched your video and this must have been the first time that I actually watched your question of the day because I totally didn't remember it because I actually wanted to ask the same question that you asked. But yes, NXT is moving to USA Network in the middle of September to directly compete with uh, AEW's live show, which is going to be airing at the beginning of August or October. And I'm really nervous because I, I love the takeovers and I, I love the characters that they've been able to develop in NXT and I would hate to see that kind of go away because if we don't have developmental and we don't have good main roster shows then WWE is going to crash and burn and nobody wants to see that. But one of the rumors that I actually heard um, today was that Vince might be actually stepping away from WWE, even the main roster, letting Bischoff and Heyman run Raw and SmackDown respectively, and then letting Triple H run with NXT until he makes sure that I believe the XFL gets off in February. So he's going to give it a few months, make sure that everything on the XFL side is on solid footing. And then if like the ratings are still going down on Raw and SmackDown, which they will, then he'll put hit more of a focus back on them. Um, but it could actually mean a few good months of main roster WWE, which I mean, the best thing that's happened so far has been the King of the Ring tournament, which I really enjoy because you get to see more than just one 15-minute match on a show. I'm kind of nervous that Baron Corbin is going to win it just because Vince loves Baron Corbin for some reason and Lacey Evans, and like I feel like those people are going to end up being stars on like NXT because they don't have anything else to do with them. I don't know. But one thing that the the... NXT being two hours and SmackDown potentially moving to three hours in the future means is that 205 Live might get like disbanded and I think that would be a real kind of detriment to all of those performers because just because they're not really featured heavily on the main roster doesn't mean that they're not great. I mean, Buddy Murphy and Drew Gulak and Tony Nese and all of them have been able to kind of put on a show. Uh, in 205 Live and then on the the like pre-show for uh, some of the pay-per-views and then it's like oh I should probably watch this really good wrestling um, but I'm not going to spend the time to go watch it on the network so maybe if they were able to like incorporate that somehow into NXT and just have all of the, the 205 Live guys there instead of really expanding NXT into two hours I think they would be able to weave those stories a little bit better and you would still get that high quality wrestling that a lot of us are actually looking for. So my question of the day is with NXT moving to a live or a televised show on the USA Network directly competing with AEW show on Wednesday nights, do you think that this competition is good for pro wrestling as an industry or do you think that it's going to split the views and then neither show is going to prosper? And advertisers and everything's going to pull out or kind of let me know what your thoughts on are on the direct head-to-head -head competition between NXT and AEW. Let me know. Thanks so much for making it to the end of the video. Make sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. You can follow me on Twitter at 90s Guy Kev. You can follow Tom on Twitter at 90s Guy Tom. You can follow both of us on Instagram at the 90s Guys. Make sure to check back in every weekday for a new episode of the 90s Vlog. And with that, I'll catch you tomorrow, Tom.